for the first time since we found it in April and we destroyed our bathroom. <laughs> Uh, I see something on the top. I've been cleaning and cleaning, but I keep finding more construction stuff. Ooh, that was like dirt. I don't know what that was. Anyway, I started to move back in. We don't have this cabinet up, so we can't move into that, and we don't have shower doors so we can't leave it there. The contractor was here in midday and he put up all our hardware. We do have a little problem with like towels and toilet paper but typically I leave a towel here and on a hook I like to have two, and then Dan leaves his up here and leaves it there when he showers. So if we're still doing that, it's not a problem. I'm just gonna hang that up there. I know I put it there, and I kind of like it. I don't mind it. I might get something different up there. We still have to put up the blinds, obviously. But since I was cleaning the tub, I wanted to see what my stuff looked like. And this, if you have a Dollar Tree. Look at this. It had a tag that said $5, but my receipt said $3. It is concrete, which is what all my other pots are. It just has a design. The plant is a little more fake looking, but I don't mind it. I mean, there's some plants that are pretty waxy and they're fake looking even though they're real. The tub is amazing. Um, the contractor did touch up some paint. Obviously, I'm gonna do all these straight fussy edges that it's probably gonna be after the party. I've done a lot of cleaning today, but I have a lot to do tomorrow. Started setting some stuff up. And, yeah. Painting will definitely happen on and off maybe next week but maybe after the trip we'll have to see because we only have like eight days until i get to the beach it's gonna come on fast you might notice that the gap is back i'm looking worse than before because there's a structure he built to support the piece my love stood up for me even though when he looked at it, he's like, oh, it doesn't bother me that much. But I want you to be happy. So I was trying to get used to that gap, even though it bothered me to know it. <laughs> and while I was out at the grocery store with Sebastian getting party stuff, he had a very in-depth conversation with the contractor, convincing him that it needed to be taken out. And a custom board made to fill the whole thing and no gap because it's very obvious the, the contractor was saying oh you only see it if you lay down but you just you just mosey on i gotta be careful he only bought one door stopper today he's like i figured they don't open this door much that's gonna damage the wall so we need to get another one i do like it but yeah just yeah because he didn't finish the floor, like you could have the pipes come out and look and clean like that, but they didn't. They would have had to chisel away the, the junk that was there before, which they had to do under the tub, like a mass of concrete in a two by four. They didn't want to do it there. So they just left that, so now they have to deal with it. We are all paid except for $500. We are holding off the last 500 until we finish the final piece. It will be completely closed up. You won't see it. So, yeah. He took our custom paint we had mixed up at Sherwin-Williams and he's going to prep the board, cut it, paint it, and just come in and install it on Monday. Also on Monday. 9 a.m. I believe the shower door guy is coming and then we'll be done. 
Um, I don't worry. I'm not worried about the painting. I can do that whenever. And you already can't see the worst spot because of my plants. And it's gonna be so pretty with our blinds up. We do need to find more things. We need to get a trash can that's not terrible. That thing is like 15 years old and probably two dollars. I need new baskets, so I might just for now bring over the ones that were originally here and use those until I order something now because I do keep my pajamas up there and I was also keeping my clothes for the next day up there because I didn't want them anywhere where the kids can pee on them because they would somehow do that. So one basket had pajamas and one basket had the next day's clothes. Though, because it is, this is not school year anymore, I don't have to have my clothes out. I'll be waking up as Danny is sleeping in the bathroom. I gonna try to move in here everything but shower tonight so I might not do the cabinets. They got the doors on and they managed to fit the shelves in without cutting them. They were gonna have to cut things apart to make it work. And this or not even use them and then all the space would be just useless because I couldn't fit shelving in here with all the weird pipes. But this is so usable. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I like that and that might be something that happens while I'm packing for the beach. That might be a good time to do it. I don't like this rock. It's really soft. I hope it holds up. Because it's fifty dollars and I can't buy it like every six months. Maybe every year or two. If we want to keep our bathroom looking really nice. But yeah. I gotta go get Sebastian and get him ready for bed. I have a lot of these kind of things to fill. And I think the thing that's gonna take the longest is I need to make these shelves and they do have some larger bottles. So I'm gonna have to do make this grease. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup right here. Out here, point of view doing makeup right there. So close. You can see my zit right there. Just had my period. I'll take it. I used to break out everywhere, so having a zit or two when my period comes is a no big deal. Right, yeah, I'm gonna go get the kid. But I'm gonna say goodnight here. Thanks for watching. Oh, there's a lot of paint right there that I didn't see because it was under the door. I'll get the rest of that off later. But good night, my friends. The end is in sight for this Monday. We will be done. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.